Hi guys, so today's makeup tutorial is a is for a nighttime look. A very quick, um, very easy, quick, if you're in a rush, whatever. And if you can pull off a dark lip, then go ahead and go for this. If not, definitely you can use other lip colors, but I kind of wanted to go something, I kind of wanted to go very bold and daring. So, yeah, it was just defined crease, a cat liner, and a dark lip. So I will talk you through what I used on my face because I've already applied foundation and everything. And then I will show you how how I did the eyes and I will apply a lip color on and that's all. So if you guys want to see how to get this look, then let's get started. So I went ahead and did the whole face and one eye. So I will just talk you through what I did into my face and then we can just do the eye and the lips and get it over with, right? It's not that hard, guys. Honestly, it's not. So for my found... Hey, guess what? There's no foundation. I didn't use any foundation. So first what I did was um, brighten my under eyes with my with the Hard Candy Glamour Flash Heavy Duty Concealer. So just dot it around my under eyes and just blend it all in. And then to cover my dark circles, I went into Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Concealer in number Y2. And I just covered up my dark circles. And then I went ahead and set it all in place with Revlon's a uh, soft uh, touch and glow foundation in ivory matte and then obviously I wanted to get some color into my skin not leave it really pale I went into my bourgeois bronzer in number 52 so I counted my cheekbones and the temples and then for blush I used sleek makeup's blush in flamingo a bright pink to highlight I went into Smashbox's fusion soft light intermix and I've been using the highlights since forever, so I highlighted my cheekbones, the nose, Cupid's bow, all the highest points of my face, brow bone, inner corners, and everything. And then I lined my waterline with Max eye pencil in coffee. And for mascara, I went into Estee Lauder's More Than Mascara in Black and Clinique's High Impact Mascara in Black. I applied that to my top and bottom lashes. I'm just checking if that's pretty much it for my face and everything. So that's it for my face. So. For the eyes, let me zoom in. So for the eyes, I did a, um, I, so I defined my crease. As you can see, no lid color, nothing, just a brow bone highlight. Whatever I use for my highlight, I use for my brow bone. Um, for the brow bone highlight and the inner corner highlight, I went into Inglot's um, eyeshadow. So this is just like a quick makeup look for the night if you're in a rush for a date night or out for dinner. It's really nice and simple, but it's definitely gonna be a bold look. So the lips are gonna be very dark. So if you're up for that, then go ahead. If not, you can definitely change up the lips. It's up to you. But this look is gonna be a nice defined crease with a nice cat eye wing liner and bold lips. So to define my crease, I'm going to go into Inglot's eyeshadow. I'm gonna mix these two together. I'm gonna go in with my crease blending brush and just blend that all. So then for my wing liner, I'm gonna go into Max Liquid Eyeliner in black, and I'm gonna go ahead and do my cat line. So for the lips, we're gonna go really bold. I'm gonna go really dark. So I'm gonna go in with NYX Cosmetics Soft Matte Lip Cream in Transylvania. And this is a matte finish. You can go ahead and apply lip liner, but I am so lazy right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just apply this. So that is just one layer. Let's go into a second layer. So 
that is two layers and this is what I like, it's nice. I know this looks black, but it's a deep, very, very, very dark plum color. So yeah, this is definitely a bold look. And if you're not confident or to go out with a dark lip like this, and if you're not ready, it's fine. Go ahead and do a pink lip or a red lip or a new lip. A new lip would good look good with this look too. So this is the look. Very easy. So I talked you through what I used on my face, and then I defined the crease. A very very thick cat liner it turned out to be thick that's what I hate about my liners I don't know if you've seen this picture on Facebook where you um, where this girl's putting on where the cartoon character is putting on liner and then she puts the second one because the first because you know when you mess up one eye you want the other eye perfect too and then you keep going and then you keep going then you just have big raccoon eyes <sighs> I hate that about liners so my liner turned out to be thick, but it's fine. It's still a cat liner. Define crease, bold lips, that's what I was going for. So yeah. So I will list the names of all the products on my blog post and all the links to my social media network will be down in the description box below. So please don't forget to follow me there. And yeah. And yeah, that's all I guess, right? Yeah. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. So hi guys, so today I will be doing and then I went ahead and set it all in place with Givenchy um, To highlight I went into Smashbox's Soft Fusion Inter... Uh, no. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this, so all the list of the products that he... So...